Well, look who's here. Tall, dark, and Bruskin, huh? Put me down. Okay, big fella. <laughs> Why, you little barnacle. <laughs> Goodbye for good this time, you little troublemaker. <laughs> Tell you, there are no American folk heroes left, Fogbound. That's way you're wrong, Kaja. There's one still around. Impossible. Who could it be? Popeye the Sailor. Who else? <laughs> Popeye the Sailor. That has been. Has been. Why, Popeye is as solid as this building. It's an earthquake. Where is he now that we need him? <laughs> of you to drop in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was just talking about you and a little wager. I don't bet, Chensk. Not even for your favorite charity? Mm, well... Fogbound, <laughs> would you care to put my hero to the supreme test for, say, one million dollars? Indeed I would. Well, my favorite charity is the Sailor's Offing Fund. It could use us a million dollars. It's a deal. We want you to take a trip around the world. Too easy. But you can't use passenger planes, trains, or boats. Then you must do it in 80 hours. I'll be home for a spinach comic by Friday morning. And not a minute too soon, because me sweetie will miss me. Are the bags are packed, Popeye. Olive, I suppose there's no ways of talking you out of going, Olive. Uh, this money is for you, if you can stop him. I'll stop the swab, sire. Just slip me the swag. Hurry! He's packing his bag. Well, I'll get my little bag of quick change disguises. <laughs> do do like the boom dee ba 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 Even my own mother wouldn't recognize me in this chauffeur's outfit. <laughs> now go get the limo, and you know what to do. <laughs> Where can I dump you to? 
uh, drop you off, madam and monsieur. The nearest freight railroad yard. And don't break any traffic rules. Nearest freight railroad yard it is, sir. Here you are, folks. Trouble is, the last freight train left here five years ago. <laughs> what a mean thing to do. Olive, we have some traveling to do. Boys, we got to get on the right track. Oh, Popeye, how resourceful. But where's the steam power? How's about some spinach power instead? It was invented before steam. Gotcha, Popeye. Um, 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 um. And as the courageous sailor, Popeye, and lovely olive oil attempt to go around the world in 80 hours, our cameras are there to record this amazing journey. Do you think you'll make it, Popeye? You're past Mississippi on your way to... Boston Harbor, if we don't get sidetracked. <laughs> now that's a great idea, sidetracked. And we'll be following you along with the eyes of the world. Oh, really? Am I on camera? It's tunnel time. In we go. And here's where I come in. <laughs> and now for the old switcheroo. Oh, look, Popeye. A shortcut. And what a view. Against the view, Olive. <laughs> Just so it gets us to Boston. Hey! Look out, Popeye! I told the old Katja that this job was too easy. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, Popeye, you're so clever. Right now, I has a one-track time. There's no stopping that little pipsqueak. But it's a long way around the world. And they only got 60 hours to make it in. And they've made it to Boston, folks. And from here on, only Popeye and Olive know how they're going to get across the great Atlantic to London. We made it, Popeye. Now all we have to do is get to London. Boys, I gotta get to the building. Oh, Popeye, how inventive. <laughs> My stomach. I've got some stomach ache pills the doctor gave me, but I better ask Uncle Popeye first. Good thinking, Popeye. Only a real doctor can give you medicine. And my pills aren't good for Pipeye? That's right. The medicine the doctor gives you is only for you. Remember. Don't make a decision without your physician, says Popeye the sailor man. <laughs> And again, the little sailor and his lovely girl, Olive, are going to attempt something that's never been attempted before. I'm Popeye the Padman Man. They'll never make it over in that little toy boat. I'll see to that. Oh, Popeye, what a cute flying fish. Look out, Olive. That ain't no flying fish. That's gotta mean ways, Tin Can. It's him again. Oh, I know that evil grin from somewhere. Hand me the rod, Adam. I am gonna catch this me an ugly fish. So, you wanna do some deep sea fishing, huh, Popeye? <laughs> I cooked me fish. Hang on. This is the one that ain't gonna get away. I'll wash out their whole trip. <laughs> Oh! Who turned out the lights? You caught a whale, Popeye! Looks like we got some help, too, Olive. I guess is that whale needed a little snack. Thanks for the help, big fella. <laughs> what happened? You'll never believe it, folks. Popeye and Olive are being towed into Dover, England by the biggest whale ever. England? How do I get out of this whale? We did it, Popeye! 
Popeye. We're in England. Time's running out, Helen. We better get some moves on. To Africa. But Popeye, we'll need a rocket to get there. I knows, Olive. I knows. I need some tower power. Okay, Olive. Hangs on. It's blast off time, Olive. Fasten on your seatbelt. Now for a jet assist. <laughs> Where am I? Hey, there goes Popeye. I'm out while I will wing out. Olive, we're on our way to Africa. We'll be there in six bells. Oh, yeah? And I'll be there in three bells. <laughs> from that path. That's it, Olive. We'll go through the oif and take another shortcut. As soon as I rearrange this rocket, this is a new twist. Look out, Spilo, Chinese. Here we come. Our cameras are on the Great Wall of China to witness the arrival of Olive and Popeye. But with 10 hours to make it back to San Francisco, will they do it? Not if I can help it. Let's get this dragon on the road. I mean war. An out of control dragon. Stands beside our little. We can't be dragging around here much longer. Heads I win. Comes on, Olive. We only got ten hours to mix it back. But Popeye, how will we get there? Popeye power. Comes on, Olive. The boats are waiting. What boat, Popeye? Why, this boat, Miss Sweet. Oh, uh, what a cute, junky little junk, Popeye. It may be junk to you, Olive, but it's a million bucks to the Orphan's Fund. What about power? They don't cause me a windbag for nothing. <gasps> <gasps> From our helicopter camera, I see that Popeye may make it just in time. But wait, he's being followed by a strange-looking sea monster. Popeye, you're about to become seafood. <laughs> Popeye, it's a tentacle! No monster's gonna tickle my goyle. I'm good. Takes that. Takes that. And that. And that. That. Say, ah! Help! Popeye! Hold on, Alan. I'll save you. Whoops! Save your friend for a long swim. Help! Popeye! Oh, my God. I'm out of spinach. But I got to save me goil. Poor oh, Popeye. I've got his last can of spinach in my purse. Oh, if he could only get it. He's finished since the nose says the supply is close by. Excuses me, Finish. I need you to make a point. Oh, Popeye! Thanks, Gollum. You too, Fish. Comes to Popeye. Well, oh, Popeye, we've sprung a geyser. Now to make some altercation. Hangs on, Adam. Abandoned ship! What is it? It's me octocopter, Olive. Let's go. Hey, slow down. It's Pluto. Serves him right for eating our boat. But, but I'm seasick. Well, that's what she gets for eating junk food. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it. Popeye has completed his journey around the world in 80 hours. I hope the sailors' orphans enjoy this million dollars I won for Mr. Codger. For offing sweet faces, you gotta win races with Popeye the Sailor Man. You're all set. A bright-colored helmet, lights, 
and reflectors and a rear view mirror. And remember, always holds on to your handlebars and watches where you're going. Look for unexpected things that might happen. Have as much fun as you like, but be safe on your bikes, says Popeye the Sailor Man.